Hello there, Aries. I'm Michelle B. Bringing you some messages for the week of May 3rd through the 10th, 2021. However, whenever you do receive these messages, if you felt compelled to watch this video, then that means that those messages are for you. It doesn't really matter. Space and time are a human construct. It doesn't matter. Okay. That's why sometimes I'm like, I get a message that's happening at like in the future, in the past and present all at once. Like I can see the whole thing happening and I'm like, I'm here, I'm there. I'm all over the place in the story when it's happening. Weird. Okay. It's hard to be human. <laughs> Stay tuned to the end of the video. I'm doing something a little bit different this week. I felt compelled to do it. I felt like I want to send blessings to you at the very end to close out what we learned from the reading to really like incorporate the messages into our bodies. Okay, so stay tuned for that. As I'm picking out some cards for the messages, I just wanna put it out there that in the description box below this video, you'll find links to my stuff, Instagram, donation portals, and other thoughts that I have about the energies that are happening right now, okay? Okay, so here we go. Come on, Aries. Give me, give me something to talk about. Ace of Cups, Seven of Cups, Chariot. The Chariot came up in Pisces reading right before this. Okay, I'm really feeling like there's an adventurous spirit happening. You are definitely someone. Pisces doesn't necessarily do very well with the Chariot energy, but um, Aries definitely does. Aries is like, yes, give me that adventure. I want it. Not because someone else told you that you should want it because you really want it right you love the feeling like you you think of a chariot someone on a chariot it's like somebody that's going into battle which aries loves or it's somebody that's going to compete which is another kind of battle someone that's going to compete in races right so aries is like hell yeah that's me i want a chance to cut my teeth it fills my cup, right? It fills my cup and makes me feel good. And so you're like, which adventure to choose? Which adventure to choose? I don't know which way to go. There's the cup that you want right there. Mm -hmm. There it is. Okay, what are the messages that wanna come? What kind of advice do we wanna make out of this? Do we wanna focus on the chariot and, may, and say, make sure and choose your battles wisely, my dear, okay? Or do we want to talk about making sure that your cup is full before you go trying to fill up anybody else's cup, right? Or should we talk about how easily distracted we can be when there's so many fun things to do? <laughs> oh my, that's the end of a long day. So I'm going to talk about the Ace of Cups energy, about making sure that our own cup is full before we go around trying to help other people. Itchy, itchy nose. And it really has to do with, like, you've got these distractions happening on one side, and you've got this idea of glory <laughs> being on the edge of glory um, on the other side. And it's like, if people just let me help, I'm hearing this from you. If people just let me help, I can show them how important I am. But that's not really where the import, I mean, we want to be valuable to our communities. It's, it's, a, it's a human need to be valuable, to, have, to participate in a, in a society, to have something to share, right? But we've made up that, that egoic aspect of it that wants to be a hero so much so that we'll sacrifice our own bodies. We made that. There's a couple other animals that will sacrifice their own bodies for the group, but it's altruism, right? That is that is something I studied. I studied biology in, in university, so I know about altruism. It is something that exists, but only in certain species, and it only goes so far, right? We're not, like we get to think, we get to be logical. We get to reason all that out in ways that other species don't. Where other species will just give up their bodies completely and just let themselves get 
get killed because that's our their biological imperative. Um, we don't necessarily have to do that without thinking about it first. So like your cup is overflowing. The cup is overflowing and overflowing and overflowing. It's like you got leaks, right? You're, you're doing nice things for people here. You're doing nice things for people over here. You're doing nice things for people over there. And it's all in the spirit of being a hero, being a champion, being someone who always shows up for other people. But I feel like you see how, how many holes, how many leaks there are happening coming out of your cup. It's like you're being distracted by so many different things. Ooh, look at me pulling it all together. What I want to suggest, the download that I'm getting for a suggestion is to try to create a routine for yourself where you where self-care is honored first. You can't help other people to the fullest, your fullest ability. You can't be this hero if you are leaking everywhere and you're not like you're not, you'll be most effective if you choose one direction to go, but you're not going to be effect, effective at all if you're like losing water, right? So create that strategy, that routine for always doing self-care first, always making sure that you get, you know, you get your a good night's sleep, make sure you get your food, make sure you turn off your phone at night. That's really important. Um, so right when you're going to bed on time, you turn off your phone, you put it away, you don't look at it until it's time to get up, okay? That way you like have that time that's just for you every day. And make sure you get your good meals, make sure you get your bat, your, your bathing in, your hygiene. And, and when you like got your money, instead of spending it on other people because you're a hero, make sure you put your pockets of investments where they need to go. Make sure you, your own bills are paid. Make sure your your certain your set aside as, uh, allotment goes into your savings account, and so on and so forth. What's left? That's the saying that I heard. What is inside the cup is for me, right? Anything, any extra time, and any extra resources that I have are for are for other people. But everything that's inside that cup is mine first. Because I can't help anybody else if my cup is not full. I can't fill anybody else's cup with my own empty cup. Okay? So once you've, is once you've isolated or created like boundaries and routine around your own self-care and what is good for you, we're talking about being as effective as possible for victory in the goals that you're that you're working toward and having as little distraction as possible. The best possible thing is for you to just pick one, two or three pet projects. One is best. One pet project is best and to close it out before you move on to another pet project instead of doing all these other ones and you're doing a half-ass job at all of them. You're not being effective. You're getting frustrated with yourself because you can't, you're lost. Your energy's everywhere and you can't, because you're doing so much, so many other little things for other people, you don't have time to like, to protect your own boundaries. So it's really better, best, you're being advised by the tarot to try to pick one one, there's that one thing, you see how it's glowing? Pick one thing, pick one thing to put that chariot energy into, that victorious energy into. These are your pet projects, people that you're helping, or organizations that you, causes that you're working toward, okay? So that's your advice for this week, okay? So let's do a little blessing for you. My dear Aries, let's embody the lessons with a blessing for your week ahead. Deep inhale into your heart. Deep inhale into your belly. Deep inhale into your tailbone. Loosen up those shoulders a little bit. It's okay, it's okay for me to take care of myself first. 
it's so important for me to take care of myself first. I am still, I am even more effective. How about that? I am even more effective if I take care of myself first before I am a hero for someone else. I am safe, I am secure, and it is okay for me to pick only one awesome project to work on at a time. There is enough time for everything that I am meant to do. That's a big one I feel like you really need to feel. Aries, there is enough time in your life and your lifetimes ahead to do everything that you are meant to do. You will do everything that you're meant to do. You can't do it all at once though. Can you feel the energy coming out of me? Mm. Aries, I love you. I'm giving you a great energy boost right now. Whew, that was really strong. I felt it coming back from you. I love you. You're going to have a good week. And I'll see you again soon.